Porter Robbins Mayor, Police Chief, and about half dozen other city employees spent some time in court today for a hearing to decide whether one of their own should be arrested for allegedly making terroristic threats. Zach Merchant was inside the courtroom. He joins us live now to explain how it all played out today. Yeah, Frank, it all went down here at the House and County Magistrate Court, where a pre-warrant hearing was held to determine whether City Purchasing Office employee Jean Williams should be arrested for a threat she allegedly made against City Councilman Darren Lee back in July. And ultimately, at the end of the nearly four-hour hearing, the judge's decision came down to the specific language she allegedly used. I was concerned with my, for my, my life and my, my safety. That's how Warner Robins City Councilman Darren Lee said he felt after hearing a threat City Purchasing Office employee Gene Williams allegedly made against him in July. When the GBI and House and County Sheriff's Office declined to take on the case, Lee took it to the House and County Magistrate Court. There, City employee Felicia Wright testified to what she remembers Williams saying the night of a contentious City Council meeting. She turned and she walked away saying, she said, uh, let me get out of here before I shoot somebody. Another city employee, Cedric Allen, testified that the next morning, Jean Williams reiterated her comments. The words were, that was me, that was me. But that's not what I said. What I said was, if I had a gun, I'd shoot it right now. Councilman Darren Lee, representing himself, argued that those comments broke the law and should be viewed by the court as terroristic threats. But Gene Williams' attorney, Deborah Gomez, used testimony from five different witnesses, including Mayor Randy Toms, Police Chief Brett Evans, and Human Resources Director Tony Graham, to argue that Williams' comments were conditional, were not made directly against Lee, and were not made with criminal intent. I looked at her, and then she said, don't worry, I don't have a gun, after she made that first statement. Ultimately, Judge Lawrence Lee agreed with Gene Williams' attorney and did not sign a warrant for her arrest. But in his final remarks, he made clear what he thought of her actions. You really should know better than to make comments like this. This was really unacceptable. You, you know, you just can't do stuff like that. Or you will. You shouldn't do stuff like that. Now, when I caught up with Darren Lee after the hearing, he said he did not agree with Judge Lee's decision, but he did accept it. But he also added that he still thinks Gene Williams should face internal discipline at the city of Warner Robins. Live in Houston County, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thanks, Zach. Gene Williams said she was thankful the judge decided not to sign a warrant and said she hoped to get back to work soon.